Fearing that our enemies would seek the boy out if they knew his existence, Mustang kept her pregnancy a secret on the Deja Thoris until she was able to give birth. Then, leaving the child to be guarded by Kavik's wife in the asteroid belt, she returned to war. That peace she intended to make with the Sovereign was not just for her and her people, but for her son. She wanted a world without war for him. I can't hate her for that, for keeping this secret from me. She was afraid. Not just that she could not trust me, but that I was not prepared to be the father my son deserves. That was her test, all this time. She almost told me in Tino's, but after conferring with my mother, she decided against it. Mother knew if I realized I had a son, I would not be able to do what needed to be done. My people needed a sword, not a father. But now, for the first time in my life, I can be both. This war is not over. The sacrifices we made to take Luna will haunt our new world. I know that. But I am no longer alone in the dark. When I first stepped through the gates of the Institute, I wore the weight of the world on my shoulders. It crushed me, broke me. But my friends have pieced me together. Now they each carry a part of Eo's dream. Together we can make a world fit for my son for the generations to come. I can be a builder, not just a destroyer. Eo and Fitchner saw that when I could not. They believed in me. So whether they wait for me in the Vale or not, I feel them in my heart. I hear their echo beating across the world. I see them in my son, and when he is old enough, I will take him on my knee and his mother, and I will tell him of the rage of Ares, the strength of Ragnar, the honor of Cassius, the love of Severo, the loyalty of Victra, and the dream of Eo, the girl who inspired me to live for more. The End We hope you have enjoyed this production of Morning Star by Pierce Brown.